Californians are fed up with Governor Gavin Newsom's lockdowns and are fleeing the Golden State by the thousands. One well, America's Pearson Sharp has more as San Francisco sees the biggest exodus of Californians in the entire country. Governor Gavin Newsom's oppressive lockdowns are hurting Californians across the state, but San Francisco is being hit especially hard. Since last year, San Francisco has been hit with a massive 43% plunge in sales tax revenue. Experts, including San Francisco's chief economist, Ted Egan, explained that drop from April to June involved thousands of residents fleeing the most expensive city in all of America. Egan clarified that the drop in revenue was not due to the pandemic, but rather an exodus of residents from San Francisco, a trend that has only accelerated since the lockdowns began. Silicon Valley companies offering their employees the option of working remotely has also resulted in residents moving to less expensive cities or even out of the state. United Van Lines reported that outbound moving requests soared 128 percent above the national average just in September. All those residents fleeing has also resulted in a 20 percent drop in rent prices for October, the largest yearly decline ever recorded and more than any other city in the country. But the mass exit is no surprise to anyone familiar with San Francisco's situation, where Gavin Newsom's lockdown has destroyed over 54% of the city's small businesses. Restaurants have been some of the hardest hit, with over 60% that were forced to close temporarily remaining permanently closed. In San Francisco, more than 370 restaurants that closed for the pandemic will never open their doors again, as Democrats sit back and do nothing. As a result, more Californians than ever are calling for the lockdowns to be lifted and Gavin Newsom to be removed from office. Recall Gavin 2020 is fighting to do just that, and organizers say anyone who's interested can visit the site recallgavin2020.com to download and sign a petition or donate money and contribute to the cause. The effort must collect roughly 2 million signatures to remove the governor, and organizers say for simply the price of a postage stamp, Californians could see a new governor in office by next March. Pearson Sharp, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.